Well, let's talk about this then. Is he worth a million dollars a year after playing three really good games? So I get a house auction, Josh. He's worth as much as someone's willing to pay. Um, there would be definitely, I would say there would be three, four clubs in Melbourne that can afford to pay him a million dollars, yeah. maybe even more. Um, so, yes. Um, so West Coast have to pay him a million yeah. dollars regardless. Well, it's, if you want him to sign, yeah. You will, and it's it's an investment. It's an investment in the club. It's an investment in one of the better players um, going around and a generational player. So, yeah, you got to keep – if you keep these guys together and West Coast will be attractive to other players or free, free agents, agents yeah. sort of thing. Um, so then that million dollars is – sells five, six, seven thousand more memberships. There's your money back. Sells jumpers. Sells yeah. whatever. Gets players in. That's yeah. And you have to – I mean – It's an easy sell. I mean, oh yeah, I guess I'm just like being an Eagles fan, a million bucks, and then you're like, well, what happens if you know we've just seen a spurt, and then I, I don't know. I'm I'm probably just trying to build that's down risk. the hype train because I'm too excited. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the risk versus reward, but the reward right now, um, well outweighs it. Because doesn't a million dollars like say suggest that you're probably one of the top ten players in the league? Would you say he's top well, ten now? Well, there's been some pretty average players on on good money. Um, yeah, but name them. <laughs> There's a few playing right now, mate. Don't worry. Um, and I was like, oh, I thought I was overpaid when I went up to the Giants, but I was underpaid by the end of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's as I said, it's someone's willing to pay, and if, if yeah. someone wants to pay overs for a certain player that might not be worth that much, but they need that player, then then so be it. And if they can fit that in the salary cap, then. You go with it. And you see how the he handles it. Because I guess if you look at this, this is the Tom Boyd situation, right? When he left, he got a million-dollar contract. And people were saying he's not worth it, not worth it. And then he had to deal with that battle publicly, privately, and then just got over playing footy. So you hope the same thing doesn't happen to Harley. But you look at Harley and you think he's handled every challenge that's thrown at him already, which has been a lot. All last year, people talking about him. Or where's he going to yeah. go? He hates West Coast, doesn't want to go there. Harley Reid has had... And Tom Boyd had a lot of media around him. Harley Reid's had 10 times more. Um, but then again, the same sort of thing with Tom Boyd. He got a million dollars a year for, what was it, five years or whatever the deal was. I won a premiership. So it wasn't yeah, worth it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And he kicked that goal any, from me. <laughs> any club would pay a million dollars. You guarantee me a, gr a grand final premiership, you pay a million dollars to anyone. Yeah. You pay a million dollars to a, to a rookie that hasn't had a kick in – in five years or whatever it is, yeah. and you'd say if you pay him a million dollars, you win a premiership. Done. Like that's all Insane. you want to do. That's all you play footy for.